What's up guys, it's Mark from Silenced Tech and today we're checking out this crazy build from Stormforce. Housed in a very unique case, I've never seen anything quite like this before. The Geo is one of several Ryzen based PCs released by the company and you'll be able to find a link to it in the description. Checking out the specs, the Geo comes equipped with some of the best components available on the market, featuring AMD's awesome 1800X processor. It's great for gaming, editing and especially streaming with its 8 cores and 16 threads. For memory, Stormforce have used 32GB of Kingston HyperX Fury DDR4 with speeds only up to 2400MHz and that's all connected to an ASUS Prime X370 Pro motherboard. Board. For storage, there's not only a whopping 3TB Western Digital hard drive, but a 512GB Western Digital NVMe SSD, running the OS. There's an FPS Group 750W power supply powering the whole system, and the PC also has its own dedicated Wi-Fi card from ASUS. Lastly, there's an ASUS Turbo Tele TTI delivering high fidelity gaming. I absolutely love comparing pre-built gaming PCs to custom or self-built rigs. The Geo is priced at £2,500, so I decided to build my own PC with the same specs as the Geo on PCPartPicker.com and it came to just over £2,000. There's a pretty big markup on the Geo by Stormforce. That said, to be fair to Stormforce, you have to factor in the cost of actually building the PC in the first place, and if you're the type of person that wouldn't ever attempt to build your own PC, I can see why buying a Geo might be very appealing, especially when Stormforce have great reviews online regarding their customer service and warranty. Taking a look at the case at £2,500, I would expect some sleeved cables or at least a fully modular power supply that didn't have ketchup and mustard cables, although adding your own extension cables, I guess, wouldn't cost very much. The build inside the case doesn't exactly look high-end even though it is, so I'm not sure why the build would come with a tempered glass case as there's nothing really inside to show off. The case on its own I do quite like, while no one would call it subtle, there's something different about it that really sets it apart. One thing I love about this case is the front I.O. It lights up and there's a dedicated button for changing the LED lights which is super convenient. Speaking of the front I.O. from left to right there's a power button, one USB 3.0 port, two USB 2.0 ports, headphone and microphone audio jacks, a reset switch and lastly the previously mentioned dedicated lighting button. If we look at the RGB fans they give off a nice effect at the front, at the rear the 120mm fan is completely different from the front ones. At the top of the case there's four drive bays with a Western Digital 3TB hard drive installed. It's going to be pretty hard for heat to escape through the top, it will have to move past all four drive bays then attempt to exit out of the rear of the case. I guess that's why they've used a GPU with a blower style cooler. With all that out of the way, it's time to see how this PC performs. Overclocking with the Ryzen 1800X was a lot of fun using the ASUS X370 Prime motherboard. I easily got the CPU up to 4GHz, temperatures never went past 73 degrees Celsius on a single core while stress testing with Ida64. The ASUS Turbo 1080 Ti overclocked fairly well, I managed to get the core up to 1999MHz and the memory up to 1445 Temperatures were fine for a blower style card, hitting around 75 degrees Celsius under full load. Anyway, let's finish off the review with some benchmarks, testing the PC out with some of the most demandingest games on the market.
Rounding off now guys, the Geo from Stormforce is a bit of a mixed bag. The performance is there and it will blow away the latest games at any resolution, even 4K, but the build doesn't quite look the part and it needs some better cables and care taken with cable management, which I think anyone would agree you'd expect when paying that ask in price. Overall award for the Stormforce Geo is going to be silver. I hope you've enjoyed the review guys, my name's Mark from Silence Tech, goodbye.